We've come down to Hobart's the night to celebrate our 18th wedding anniversary. And tonight, Linda is going to take me for my first experience of Chinese hot pot. Should be fun. On the way down, we stopped for lunch at a place called Epping Forest. It's a big truck stop, so you know the food is going to be good. Truck drivers always seem to know where to find the best food. I remember growing up, my dad always used to like to stop here for a cheese kransky. We're staying in a little pub called Dr Syntax, which as a programmer and a writer, I find to be a fascinatingly amusing name. It's a pretty little room. Let's have a look around. So you've got your bed, your wife, your fridge, TV back there, some uh, hanging space. And so here, it's a very narrow, but it's a very modern bathroom. And a pretty interesting little shower here with one of these things. <laughs> the tap on the side of the wallway. I think it's really interesting. So pretty small, but it's, it's a bed for the night, which is all you need. Oh, and air conditioning. We're in Tasmania, the southernmost state of Australia. Hobart is the capital city, down the south end. We're staying in Sandy Bay, a suburb known for lots of good international food. This one? This one? Yep. There's a little pen there. Oh, yeah. So, I think from memory, I got the $49 one. Yeah. So it just, it's just a little bit more yeah. of a middle range. Yeah. And I'm thinking just pork. I think that wasn't too spicy. Mm hmm Alright, so... We're going to move over onto these seats, so there's room for all the food. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Hot Pot is an interactive communal meal originating in China, where various foods are cooked in a broth that is constantly simmering over a heat source. The Chinese name for this meal literally means fire pot. You can choose the raw ingredients that you want and cook them yourself in the broth. It's all very thin, so it cooks very quickly. There's a bunch of sauces which you can mix together and then dip your food in once it's cooked. Got it. Going through the sauce, that's our juice, meat, mushrooms, veggies. Mm. Look, look at this, it holds it, it holds it. <laughs> so the lamb is really interesting, it cooks really quickly. I'll show you. 
Red because of the tomato broth. The broth is really nice, but it's also really hot. So I've put some in a sauce bowl to let it cool down a bit so I can just drink it. Let's try the tomato broth. Mmm. It's nice. Aftermath. Well, we're all done. <laughs> that was really delicious and it was just a really fun experience. Just such a different way of having yeah. a meal than everything with I've ever done before. <laughs> Linda's been there before, that's yep. why she brought me along. So, Thanks Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> next stop we're gonna go to the Chinese supermarket. And the best time to go to any supermarket is after you've eaten a big meal. Because you don't spend as much money. Exactly. But there's this they got Fanta that like a special flavour you don't get in most places. Linda wants to get some and introduce me to it. White peach. Let's go. <laughs> Well, we didn't exactly find the peach Fanta that Linda was looking for, but what we did find is some other kind of peach soft drink. So we got two bottles of those. They're in a very cute and unusual kind of bottle. And this is one of the weirdest things I've seen. Chupa Chup soft drink. Only a dollar. Yeah. So <laughs> isn't that interesting? So we grabbed that too. We got some um, kind of uniquely flavoured Oreos and a couple of other things. Some chips for the kids. Peach flavour water. So we had fun. Go on for another walk. See how close we can get to the Rest Point Casino. That's where we were for tea. these rental scooters that they're trialing in Hobart and Launceston. There's the purple ones and the orange ones and I think you pay on an app and you pay per kilometre or something. I'd like to try but I worry I'd fall off. So they've got the beam and the neurons. Like two rival gangs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And one of my pet hates. Yeah, the, the mask just got on the ground. Like a dirty tissue. <laughs> Apparently, when you put the helmet back, that's when it stops charging your money. So if you steal a helmet, you're, you're, you're paying for time you're not using. <laughs> so they're motorised. It's interesting, anyway. Mm. Nice view. Sign says duck crossing, and ducks. you probably can't see it, but there are ducks down there. <laughs> There's also a whole lot of boats. Oh well, we've seen it. We can go home now. <laughs> And we're back. 
Hey guys, it's that part of the video when we shout out our newest patron, and that is Jarvis Barrett. Welcome Jarvis Barrett to the Patreon family. And yeah, we just really appreciate uh, you joining and supporting us. Uh, it looks like Jarvis is a bit of a budding filmmaker, so that's pretty cool. So I hope you're having a great day, Jarvis, and yeah, just thank you for, for the support. Now, if you'd like to support us and find out what that's all about, you can go to patreon.com slash calling show, and it'll all be explained there. Thanks, guys. Love you. And back to the show. Bye. actually see Mount Wellington this morning. Usually it's under clouds. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it last year. Yesterday. No, it was under cloud because I noticed it was raining on there and then we got rained on. <laughs> this place has a really nice beer garden. Look, it's not fancy, but it's a decent size of big umbrellas. And free car parking. You gotta like that. We've just come down to the waterfront this morning, near the rest point, to have a look. I can hear wind kind of blowing through something amongst all the boats. And it's happening in multiple places, kind of slightly different pictures. Kind of creating this weird, otherworldly harmony. So bizarre. Looks like there's an old gun up there. No, I don't think it's a gun, I think it's a crane. I think I figured out the weird noises. There's wind turbines on a lot of these boats, probably recharging their batteries. This is the mouth of the Sandy Bay Rivulet, not to be confused with the Hobart Rivulet. It starts at the springs up on Mount Wellington and flows into the Derwent River here. Like its Hobart namesake, this rivulet is carefully channeled by man-made structures to control its path through the city. So legendary Robin Hood actor Errol Flynn was born in 1909. He uh, grew up in Tasmania. His parents briefly lived in Sandy Bay, and he probably learned to swim in this beach back here behind me. Pretty cool. Born at Battery Point in Hobart, Errol Flynn took the world by storm during the golden age of Hollywood. He is most known, of course, for the leading role in The Adventures of Robin Hood from 1938. Off screen, he had something of a turbulent life, and was known to be a womanizer. Flynn loved the sea, and that love may have been birthed right here. It's cool to think that one of the greats of cinema history was a Tassie boy, just like me. So that sign is part of a sculpture walk around the Sandy Bay area. Next stop, Salamanca Market. <laughs> we couldn't help ourselves. It's books. <laughs> It was time for lunch. Linda spotted a sushi train, one of her favourite things. Oh, 
I thought it was pretty cool to have my food delivered by Optimus Prime. Okay.